I found a lot of videos and literature that explain how to take a system of differential equations and map its phase portrait. But I, I haven't found a lot on how to go in the opposite direction, to take a phase portrait and map it back into a system of equations. So that's what this video is about. And there isn't really a, a set recipe for it, but there are a few things you can do, a few guidelines I have that will sort of simplify it and help to point you in the right direction to getting a solution. So let's have a look at this field here. Uh, what might this represent? Well, I, ha I have an idea. Maybe over here you have a professor, okay, maybe a math professor at a, a good university, and um, he's, he's teaching on, on his board, okay, and so all this information is coming in like this, all right? And over here, maybe this is your, your head, okay? If the, the graph goes into your head, that means you've learned something. So, you know, a lot of the things your math professor might say, just come in here and kind of bounce off the front. It's almost like a force field that it doesn't even get in. Uh, then maybe down here, you have something like, uh, it's doing this. You know, maybe you checked your Facebook or got a text message from a cute guy or girl. And then maybe these ones here, right? It's coming in, coming in and you're paying attention, you really think you have it, and then phew, it's, it's gone, you, you, you didn't learn it. And then sometimes, this is the ideal one, this is the one we're happy with, it goes right along this curve and then up into your brain and, and you learn it. And then as time goes on, it goes right back out your brain over there. So that's just my opinion of what this might model. I guess it could model something else. Um, but let, let's get down to business here and figure out what the, uh, the system of equations is for this. So, number one, you want to draw the null clines, or where the arrows are horizontal or vertical. So, this is really pretty easy to do. Let's do the, the horizontal ones first. Uh, you know, where is the graph horizontal? It's pretty, pretty easy. You can make a bunch of points if you want to. But it looks like right around x equals zero. Right? Kind of at... Whoop, you didn't see that? At these points here, right, it, the slope is zero. So x prime equals zero at that point. So let's let's draw that. That would be something more or less like that. Okay. Now, how about the other one? So where, where is y equals zero? Um, or rather, there. That, that's actually that's where y prime equals zero, right? Because it's not going up or down. Um, and then the other ones, where x prime equals zero, that's where uh, it's vertical. So at those points, you're not going to have any change in x. Um, so that looks like it's going to be, and I, I kind of sketched it on the test a little bit, so. You have points kind of here and here, okay? Now these null clines, they're going to tell us a lot about the, the system of equations. And you can see that these blue ones are forming what looks like a parabola. And that's just not just a coincidence. Uh, we'll, we'll figure that out in a second. Now let's first do step two. Uh, draw the x and y vector field. So this will just kind of give you an idea of what you should be doing uh, and, and the requirements you need to meet. Now I'm going to draw the no clines here like this. And we just want to do one in each region. So how about this one can be for x, okay? And I'm just going to move. No, I'll just leave that there. So this one for x, let's see. If you're beneath the x-axis, it looks like everything down here is going left. Okay, so that always needs to go left. Um, if you're within the parabola, it's always going right. Here, it looks like it's always going left. Okay, and here, always going right. So those are the requirements for that one. How about for y? Um, do another one over here. This little parabola. You notice something. Um, except for on the null line, that is basically where the y-axis is, it's always going up. OK, so that, that tells you something pretty important about this. Uh, y always needs to be positive, right? 
And let's look, consider one other thing about y. Uh, say I drew a vertical line over here. It looks like the y slope is about the same everywhere. It, you know, if you go from line to line straight up, it doesn't look like x or the, the slope is changing. So what that means is that the slope there does not depend on y, only on the x value. You can see as you go to the right this way, maybe now the slope is zero. You go more, now the slope starts to increase again, maybe somewhere like that. So once you have these, these are really just to help you understand the system a little bit better, because it looks quite confusing at first. But when you have these three, devise a system that meets the requirements of the phase portrait, or you could say of the, the two vector fields, you know, it, it's really the same. So how can we do this? Uh, let's start with, um, how about x prime first? What's that going to be? Well, it, it's a, a kind of an easy way to do this. Um, you can see that one of the null clines is a parabola. So you're going to need a parabola in there. Um, and it's a, the null cline is when x prime equals 0. OK. So if you had 0 equals y minus x squared, OK, that's the same thing as y equals x squared, which is just that parabola. So for x prime, I'm going to pick um, just y minus x squared. And that's just the way I reasoned it out. You could reason it out in your own way, of course. Now, how about for y? Now, like I said before, it looks like as you go up and down vertically, y does not change. So you're not going to have any y terms in there, All right, so y dot. Um, however, if you go to the right, uh, the slope increases, right? Y starts to increase. These things get steeper. If you go to the left, it also increases. These things get steeper. So I need something that's going to be going up as I go right and left. Um, what could I get for that? How about just x squared? Okay, that's going to be increasing if you go to the right, and it's increasing if you go to the left. So does this thing work? Well, without using some type of graphing software, let's just pick a few points and see what would happen. Um, how about at 0? Well, at 0, y prime uh, would just be 0, because 0 squared is 0, which is good. right? You have some uh, something that's, that's completely horizontal. That's where that red line is. And then x prime, you know, depending where y is, it looks like maybe it's getting bigger as you go up or down. Um, and actually, this y looks really good, because as you get, as you go up, maybe at positive 1, may, or, yeah, it's maybe around here, you can clearly see it's going to the right. Uh, as you go down, maybe here, you can see it's going left. So we're very happy about that. Um, how about way off to the left? Well, anything to the left of the parabola is going to be moving like that. So if you, and to the right, it, it'll be moving like this. And you can just test those points out by putting your x and y value into your system of equations. Uh, if it doesn't work, your system, then you just need to tweak something, change it a little bit. So obviously to do this, you need to know a good bit about graphing and, and functions. Now, does this thing work? Uh, was my solution on the test right? Because this is what I, I put on the test. Well, I don't know if I, I care to go all the way to the fourth floor of the H building to find out, but if you graph it, it looks like this. This is our system. And you can see here, yes, these ones go off like that. These ones are going up here. Um, and then you kind of have a, a similar thing like that. Also, the, I didn't mention this before, but the, it looks like there is a stationary point at the origin, which is satisfied by the system. Uh, then over here, going up and out. So. Yes, it looks like this is going to be a good way to map this face portrait. So those are the basic guidelines. Feel free to copy those down. Uh, it's not going to work exactly like that every time. 
But if you want to get better at, at doing this, um, you know, do as many as you can, and then it'll be easier to go in reverse. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you liked the video, please subscribe or like it. And um, if you have any questions, you're welcome to ask them in the comments, or you can ask me directly. Thanks for watching.